what's happening YouTube so lots happened um let's see we're I just got through editing the uh, band video I got one more I'm gonna put together um, between that one and this one but I just want to catch up on what's been going on so uh, I know some of my videos are boring but uh, if you've watched very many of them you've heard me say I, don't, I do it to uh, I do it for memory's sake too just to be able to look back and see what uh, what went on in life and uh, so my daughter had a, has a heart condition she has some issues that we're trying to help her figure out and uh, She had an episode. That's got juice. She had a little episode uh, the other day. I'm trying to catch up on uh, trying to think of the things that uh, I haven't. I'm trying to think of the things that I haven't talked about lately uh, in the videos that I've been editing. So she had an episode. Uh, had the. Mandy had to go get her, and uh, ah, fresh. Mandy had to go get her, bring her home, and uh, so went back to the cardiologist. Uh, they'd given her some medicine; it made her sugar fall out. It was just a big old mess. Um, but anyhow. So they went today, she had her uh, procedure done that they said would help her. They implanted, well not help her, I'm sorry, so they could monitor her. They put uh, some kind of thing inside of her chest and her heart to monitor her, her heart, basically. So that's where she's at today. Uh, I had to take my wife Friday back to the neurologist uh, we did some they did scans on her brain um, good news is that she's not any worse than she was none of her tumors are have grown that he could tell he is gonna still send it off to a uh, whatever those people that read the, read it and give you a report back but he looked at it himself and he showed it to us and <clears throat> He said, uh, judging by what he sees, he doesn't see. Um, it, it doesn't look any worse. So that's good news. Uh, bad news is, I mean, there's nothing they can do for her symptoms, for her issues right now. So um, what I'm doing right now is someone hit my mailbox. So I'm having to replace it. And that sucks. But... Hmm. I needed to get out in the yard today and mess around. I've spent a lot of the day editing videos. I had to do some work on my computer, like work work on my computer and uh, messed around with uh, getting some of our band stuff took care of. And that was cool. So, uh, <sighs> what else? Hmm. I don't know, we're working, it. the band's getting in motion good. Uh, my camera skills, my editing skills getting a little better. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to stop vlogging like this. Uh, I say that. I'm going to add something in the mix. How about that? Instead of vlogging all the time, every video be a vlog. I'm actually, I just like taking photography and videos, like B-roll type stuff. I love doing B-roll. Uh, and b-roll is just like the like I do when I'm driving and I'm just videoing driving down the road and how pretty the sky is and, and the leaves changing and my drone footage and things like that that's all the b-roll and uh, most of it, if you don't care about anything that I'm saying that's probably why you're watching anyway so uh, I'm fixing to start doing a little more of that we're about to 
start working on uh i'm gonna take a couple of our songs and we're gonna start working on some like music video type stuff we'll try that out and uh see how that goes <laughs> i hope it goes well so anyway um right now i'm going to fix this mailbox and uh i hate to bother you but you're gonna watch me Huge, huge complaint. I heard today that we may have six more weeks of winter. Screw that. Excuse my language. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm over this. All right. Be right back. Ha! <laughs> 
and my child, my daughter. Um, I mean, what do you do? You know what I mean? <coughs> it's like, I believe in God, like holy and sincerely believe in God, deeply. I hear people talk about, I hear people talk like they're saying that if you believe in God and you try to follow after what the Bible tells you to do, that everything's going to be okay. And it will be okay. One day in heaven, but not right now. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're stuck here on this earth. And, uh, that's pretty, we're stuck here on this earth. And we have to deal with what's here. We have to deal with the curse that was left here for us. <sighs> the curse of sin and death. I don't know. It's hard to deal with sometimes. I can't imagine how my wife actually feels, you know. She tells me, but I just can't. I can't fathom what she actually thinks in her mind or what goes through her mind. We we went through times where we were so mad at God. But God is good. And I've heard it said that if God was so good, then why does He let bad things happen? Well, first response I want to say, or, or, or what what comes to mind, I'm picking up trash that a, my dog drug out of a garbage hole. But one response that one would want to say would be that, yes, God is in control, and He just lets things happen. And I guess in context, that would be correct. To better answer that question there, if God was good, why would he let bad things happen to his people? I think the better question, context, would be uh, what is God more worried about? Is he more worried about my comfort of living? Or my eternal salvation and where I'll live? And you know, disclaimer, guys. If you didn't know it, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, I'm a preacher. I don't boast that. I just, I am. But then again, I don't cram religion down your throat either. I'm just going to tell you once that there's a God in heaven, and there's sin on earth, and that sin is in us. Romans 5 says that, um, man, there's a mess. Romans 5 says that Adam sinned, and by that sin, it said, by one man's sin, by one man's disobedience, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. So, to sit and argue and say one might be going to hell because of his way of living is totally irrelevant. The way you're living is irrelevant. 
the matter, the fact of the matter is, do you know Jesus? We have to know Jesus. That's a black lamb. We have to know Jesus to make a way back to the Father. He said, if you deny my son, I will deny you. And, and folks want to argue about it. I don't want to argue about it. I'm not going to argue about it. What I'm going to do <laughs> is just say it. And you don't have to you don't have to believe it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't make it any more or less true. Whether I believe it or not doesn't make it any more or less truth. The fact is, it is truth. It just is. And we got to uh, accept that. He gave His Son. He gave us a gift. Duke, get down. Duke has a friend. Duke, you're not old enough to have a friend like that. Man, there's crap all over my yard. But, we have to accept it. And by me saying that, a lot of you listening may say, well, that's harsh. That's that's forcing it on me. I'm not forcing it on you. It just is. It's, it's like me telling you that if you jump out the window of a fifth-story building, you're going to die when you hit the ground. Hold that thought. So back to what I was saying. We believe in two things. We believe in heaven and hell. Because that's what the Bible says. The Bible says you're either, you're either going to heaven because you've accepted Jesus, you've accepted the gift, or you're going to hell, which is the opposite of heaven. So you're either going to one or the other. That's as simple as it gets. You're not going to hell because you're bad. You're not going to hell because you're living some crazy life. Nothing like that. You're, we were all born on our way to hell because that sin was passed down from Adam. And the only way to break that curse is belief in Jesus. So, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I would hate to know that I spent my entire life deciding that that is just a ridiculous thing to believe in. To just die and realize I was totally wrong. It's a serious matter, folks. Alright. That's all I'm going to say about that today.